All right, styling. So when you have an element on the page, you have these tabs up here. One of them is styling. And this is pretty much how you're gonna do everything visually. So this styling tab mirrors CSS, real CSS, very closely. So what you'll see when you come in here is there's a primary style class, there's utility style classes, there's inline styles, and then there's a field here for external style class. Primary style class would be like the base style that you're gonna put on that element. In this case, this has a uh, base primary style class called testimonial. So if I look at testimonial, I can see some of the properties on here. That's a max width, margin right of auto, margin left of auto. And they're listed here because I'm on a used properties tab. So this is just showing me the properties that I have set for this element. If I come to this all properties tab, this will actually show me every CSS property. So I can come into layout and I'll see some display, some flex properties, visibility, opacity, you know, spacing, etc., all the way down to an everything else tab that literally has everything else. So you can choose, if you don't know CSS as well, this is a great place to start. You can choose to kind of find your styles this way. Or if you do know CSS, you can keep it on the use properties tab and just hit this new property every time, you know, and just say, oops, text align, add it, that kind of thing. Now, lastly, if you really know CSS, or if you're more comfortable just writing it, you can switch over to the CSS tab, where you can actually just write out CSS, and this updates in real time you know, with these other tabs. So it's pretty cool. You can switch back and forth between all of them. Back out here in the styling tab, if I have a primary style class set, I can overwrite those properties with a utility class. So this could be like testimonial, centered or something if, if you know it already is centered bad example but any property that i put in here so if i did background color of blue it will overwrite my main um testimonial class and then inline styles will actually overwrite utility styles and primary styles. Now the inline styles, if you know CSS, is literally like adding that style tag to the element. So it's like saying style equals and typing the properties. So these properties will override almost everything and they can't have responsive design on the media queries. Um, last thing really quickly is this external class reference. If you did import a third party style sheet or something with a page header, you can just type a class name here and it'll get that class name. Now, in both primary and utility styles, unlike inline styles, you do have states and uh, media queries. So state would be default is the default properties, the default styles that are gonna be on that element, but hover would be like when the mouse is hovered over, you can change some properties. Disabled, you can change other properties, or you can add anything you want as a state or pseudo state. So before, after, nth child, all those things. And then device here is media queries, where you can say all will apply a style to all screen sizes, or maybe if I want it just on mobile phone size, I can override a style here, or I can create my own breakpoints, meaning my own screen widths, and change styles at any screen width I want.